take a look at this. Meet Contender, the largest adult male great white shark ever recorded in the Atlantic. Pretty impressive achievement. Well, after a brief disappearance, he was just pinged off the coast of North Carolina. Nearly 14 feet long and over 1,600 pounds, this massive predator was first tagged by Osearch, a global nonprofit that tracks ocean life. They found him near the Florida Georgia coast back in January. Now he's back, and researchers are watching his every move. So let's bring in Osearch founder Chris Fisher to discuss. Chris, so happy to be talking to you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Is it unusual to see a shark like Contender in this area so early into the summer season? No, this is exactly where they are. So there's a very unique thing that happens there at the Outer Banks is that, you know, there's a big break in water temperature right at Cape Hatteras. It's a faunal break there. So to the north of it is significantly colder than to the south of Cape Hatteras. So at the end of every winter, we often see the white sharks bunch up on the south side of Cape Hatteras, waiting for the water to the north to get warm enough to move around the corner and head up to either New England or Atlantic Canada. So this is very typical where these Mature male white sharks, they spend their Father's Day migrating north every year, working up there to put the pressure on the seals to make sure they don't um, eat too many of our fish. I was going to say, Cape Cod, it's a hot spot this time of year for humans, and as I understand it, for sharks alike. So, Contender headed up that way towards the Cape. Well, he may. We see these sharks either choose to go kind of toward New England or to Atlantic Canada. And we've tagged about just under 100 sharks in this study, and it looks like over 70% of the population or so goes to Atlantic Canada, 30% to New England. So we don't know where Contender is going to spend his summer and fall because we just tagged him in January off the Florida Georgia line. So we're all going to watch here in the next week or so to see where he decides to set up for his summer and fall, kind of bulk up after a lean winter of eating fish and put on some pounds eating the seals. I mean, Contender is already massive. You you tag him as one of the, as the largest uh, there in the Atlantic. So how does, tell us more about his size and, and what that might tell you and your research about the species and the tagging process that, what did that look like for, for you guys? I mean, there's so much to throw at you there. Yeah, so Contender is a mature male white shark. He's probably about 30 years old. He wasn't able to begin mating until he was 27 to 29. We're in the midst of a nice recovery of our white sharks. In fact, our entire eastern and west coast, um, we're seeing abundance levels in the oceans we haven't seen in 80 years, and that's because of the return of these large sharks kind of balancing the system moving northbound, always passing through Hatteras. We're kind of at the peak of the movement season now. By the end of July, they'll all be settled in up north. So what we're witnessing is we're starting to see things we haven't seen since our great, great grandfathers were alive because our oceans are back, our big sharks are back, and we're starting to see uh, what a wild system off our coast really look like. It's, it's truly kind of the great return to abundance off both our coasts and the big sharks and the big uh, whales and seals and turtles and our game fish are all a part of that. Impressive. I mean, speaking of big sharks, this month marks the 50th anniversary of Jaws. So I have to leave you with this question. I mean, how has our understanding of sharks evolved since then? And how is Osearch helping to reshape that narrative? You know, one of our primary missions when we began back in 2007 was try to shift the tone of the conversation around sharks from what Jaws had kind of set up to what we have now. The fact is, Jaws leveraged the fear of the unknown and the life of the white shark is no longer a mystery. So we believe that the East Coast of the United States now really has one of the more mature relationships with white sharks of any of the nine populations around the world. People understand if we're seeing white sharks, that means our oceans are healthy and our kids are gonna eat fish and they're gonna see an ocean full of life and we're gonna deliver them an abundant future. And I think anytime you see a white shark off your beaches, you should be thinking, wow, this system must be thriving if the white sharks are here and we're all blessed with that right now off both coasts. That's an incredible. I, listen, I, I look forward to following where Contender goes. Is it Atlantic Canada? Is it the Cape? I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks, yeah. but appreciate your time here giving us this insight. Chris Fisher with, the o, with Osearch, the founder there. We love to talk to you. Thanks for having me.